Devin, and today I am going to start a three-part series of videos. And I actually got this idea from a girl that I watch. Her name is Lori Beth, and um, her username, I believe, is LB's Two Cents Eleven. I'm not for sure, but I will link her page down below um, because I've been watching her for. A few months now and um, I really really like her videos and she had a fantastic idea of a three-part series that she did so you guys can go and watch hers and then I kind of did my own thing with that um, it's still going to be a three-part series um, it's going to be the ABC health and beauty faves um, favorites I wrote faves out for short um, and this first one is going to be A through I and I'm going to go by brand and I'm going to tell you you um, one to three products of that specific brand that are my favorite and it's going to be a whole range of things from beauty to hair to skincare products to fragrances uh, hair accessories there's even a couple of food brands thrown in here and um, there's a favorite person um, so it was a really good idea so I was like I'm gonna do that but I'm just gonna put my own little spin on it so we're gonna start today with the letters A through I and the brands that I chose are my favorite brands that start with that letter so the first one for A is the Alterna brand and it's a hair care brand I'm not for sure if they do other things but I have I only have one thing from their line and I love it and it is the Alterna Caviar White Truffle Hair Elixir Repair, Nourish and Protect I shake this up and it turns into like this milky stuff um, this has maracuja oil in it which I, I'm in love with. Love maracuja oil. Um, no parabens, no gluten, no synthetic color, no paraffin, no animal testing, no mineral oil. I mean, this stuff is just fantastic. And um, it says that it is a rinse off, that you can use it as a rinse off treatment by adding four to six pumps. That's my mom. <laughs> I love that song. That's like my favorite song right now. Anyway, um, rinse off. You can add four to six pumps with your favorite shampoo or conditioner. Um, but I use it as a leave-in treatment. And it says actually to add two to three pumps to your favorite styling product. Um, sometimes I will add, like, I, I have a lot of hair, so I add like four or five pumps to my argon oil that I put in my hair. Or sometimes I will just use this by itself, guys, and put like five pumps in my hand, rub it together, rub it through my hair. It makes my hair so much softer, um, so much easier to brush through. It is really, really a nice product. I love it. And it, it doesn't take much at all. I mean, I've had this for months, and I use it every time I wash my hair, and that's all I've used. So it lasts a really long time. I think it's probably pretty expensive because I think that brand is a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you get a chance to try this, it is definitely worth it. Um, the next is B, and I chose Benefit. Um, I really, really like Benefit products. Um, I've liked everything I've tried. A couple of my favorites is the Benefit boxed blushes, specifically the Coralie stuff. That is my favorite, favorite coral blush. I love this blush. I, I got this. I believe in a 500 points perks kit, I believe, actually, is where I got this. I think these run, uh, it's just the perfect, I don't even know if it's going to show up, but it's just the perfect, like, peachy coral color. I love it. I believe these blushes run... Don't quote me. I may be wrong, but I believe they run about $28, I think. I'm not for sure. Anyway, on the, at Sephora or on the Sephora website. So the Coralista Blush, box blushes in general, I have Bella Bomba. I love it too. From Benefit, I love. And from Benefit, I also love um, not necessarily this palette, but the concealer. The Boing concealer that's in this palette. 
I love this concealer. I mean, I've hit pan. It kind of looks disgusting. I've hit pan on that one. Um, I love the Boing Concealer from Benefit. I think that it really does a great job at covering your blemishes. Um, it, it'll probably be a repurchase for me. It's a really, really good concealer. Um, I also like that gal um, brightening primer for your face. Um, that came with the um, Confessions of a Concealaholic. It came with that kit. A little one did. And I actually really like it. I just don't have it because I'm trying to use up my other one. So those are three things that I really like from the Benefit brand. Okay. C is, as much as I hate to admit it, Chanel. I swore that I was never going to go that high end because Chanel is an expensive brand. Um, I, I consider myself to be mid-range. Um, there's a lot of drugstore products I like, but I consider myself to be mainly a mid-range product lover. Um, but when I went to California, I went to the Chanel counter and um, my friend April had been telling me about this. I'd heard about this um, all over YouTube and it is the Bronze Universal from Chanel. This has got to be the best bronzer I have ever used. It's a cream bronzer but it blends so perfectly. I, just, I can't even say enough good things about this bronzer. It's the perfect color. It blends in perfectly. I love this. It'll last forever. I mean, look how huge this is, guys. I mean, it's it's huge. It'll last forever. Um, I believe it was $40, $42, I'm wanting to say. But I love it. It's so worth it. Another thing that I love from Chanel that I was really hoping I wouldn't. Um, I actually didn't like the way it applied to my skin, the way it looked on my skin when I was in California when I tried it. Um, but when I came home and I actually read the directions, because I didn't read them the first time like a dumbass, um, I applied it right the second time and love it. But I don't have it with me because I just had samples, but it is the uh, Chanel Aqua, the Vitalum, Aqua Vitalumir, whatever, but the Chanel Aqua Foundation is fantastic. I will be buying it, but I feel like I need to use my other foundations first, but that one is fantastic. So those are two of my favorites from Chanel. Um, D, Dr. Dinesse. Um, now this is skincare, and I have been using this for about two weeks, a little over two weeks. I've been using it I started using it the day after I came back from California, and it's actually a kit on QVC. You can order these separately, but they also come as a kit, and it's the Dr. Dinesse Advanced Firming Facial Pads, which I use at night, as it says specifically to use at night. Um, I cleanse and tone, and then I use these, and then my serum and my moisturizer, and then the Pro-C Illuminating Cell Defense Pads, which I use in the morning after I cleanse. It says to use as your first step in the morning, but I like to wash my face in the morning. I just, I, I have a thing. I have to wash it. I have to exfoliate it. I just, I can't even deal with it not being exfoliated in the morning. But I love this. My mom said to me a couple days ago, whatever you're doing with your skin is working because it has never looked better. I'm not wearing any concealer today. Um, I probably do have a few blemishes that are showing through, but I have got severe hyperpigmentation. I know you guys probably don't believe me because it doesn't come through on camera, but I promise you in person, I have got really bad hyperpigmentation with no makeup on. And I am not even wearing concealer today. These in conjunction with a couple other things that I've been using are doing miracles for my skin. So I love the Dr. Dinesse line. My mom, I've been buying it for my mom for years. She loves the Dr. Dinesse um, Hydra Shield. She loves the Dr. Dinesse um, Eye Cream. She loves the Dr. Dinesse SPF Day Cream. She loves the Dr. Dinesse line as well. So huge thumbs up for Dr. Dinesse. I know it's pricey. I think the only place you can get it is at QVC. I don't know if they have their own website or not, but I know you can get it at QVC. E is Estee Lauder, of course, and of course, 
Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love this stuff. I, I just, when I want something that I know is not going to melt off my face when I'm out in this ridiculously hot weather that I'm so sick of already, um, this is my go-to. I, I just, I love this stuff. I'll be getting another one. This will be a repurchase time and time again. I, I just love that. I can't say enough good things about that foundation. Also from Estee Lauder, I love the Take It Away Total Makeup Remover. This was in my favorites last month. I went and got a full size. Um, I love this stuff. I do not, however, think that it is good for the eyes. Um, it says for long wear and waterproof makeup removal. But it doesn't say anything about your eyes on here. And I've noticed that it does take off my waterproof mascara, but it does sting a little bit. So um, that may just be because my eyes are so sensitive. But I like to use a separate eye makeup remover anyway. Um, but I love this stuff. It makes my skin feel so soft. I talked about that in my favorites. So um, those are a couple of things that I love from Estee Lauder. Now F is Fusion Beauty. I don't know a lot. That's the only thing I could come up with for F. I don't know a lot about Fusion Beauty. I haven't tried a lot of things. I got a um, Fusion Beauty kit from Sephora for free, I think last year with 500 Perks program. And I love, 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 love these two products. It's the Lip Fusion uh, Lip Gloss and the Color Crave. Love it. It's almost gone. I'm really kind of sad about that. And the um, Lip Fusion Infatuation, um, this is the color In the Flesh. This is kind of like um, Buxom. This is a plumper, and it's almost gone too. I'm really sad about that because I have so many lip glosses that I don't feel like I need to buy the full size, but those are two that I highly recommend. If you had to pick one, I would definitely go with this one if you like that tingly feeling um, that some lip glosses like the Buxom will give you. If you don't like the tingly feeling, go with this one. I love their lip glosses. They're fantastic. Um, G is for goodie. Goody hair products, goody brushes, goody scrunchies. I call these things right here, I call scrunchies. This one is from Goody, and I actually wore it out. It has like almost no elasticity left to it. It doesn't even really hold my hair up anymore, but I, I just, I love it. Um, I love these little clips from Goody that you push through and you stick it in your hair and then you clip it. Love these little clips from Goody. Um, love these clips that I have from Giddy. These are the ones I use when I put my hair half up. I just clip it right there. Um, I have medium size clips, big clips. I have all kinds of clips from Giddy. I have headbands from Giddy. My uh, brush is from Giddy. My comb is from Giddy. I love Giddy hair products, hair accessories. They're, they are fantastic. Um, H. Heat. The Perfume Heat by Beyonce. This is my favorite perfume that I own. I just love this stuff. It does not give me a headache. I can wear it all day. I can catch whiffs of it and just be like, oh, yes, that's it's fantastic. I love this stuff. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. If you have a tendency to kind of get headaches with floral fragrances, this one is not going to do that because it doesn't do it for me. And I'm, I'm extremely, extremely scent sensitive. Yeah, that made sense. Sensitive to floral scents. Heat is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I is for Inglot. Um, I really like everything that I have tried from Inglot with the exception of the concealer and the powder. Um, I love their blush. I love their shadows. I prefer the square pans. Um, I love their blush. I've used that blush time and again. Um, it's blush number 558. It's just a really gorgeous gorgeous darker pink right there. I don't know if that's going to show through. I love that. 
Um, that's the only blush I have from them, but I, I, I know I love it. I love their shadows. Um, this is Pearl 445. It's uh, purple, obviously, is like my favorite color ever. And that's a swatch of that. It's hot. There we go. I just, I really like their square shadows. I really like their blushes. And I really like their, um, I don't know if these are called glosses or like a lipstick in a tube or whatever. I don't know. But these three right here are lipsticks. I really, really like them. I don't have any of their actual lipsticks in a, um, in an actual, you know, lipstick container. Uh, my friend April does. She really likes it, too. Um, I just, I really like just about everything I've tried from Inglot. I've heard a lot of good things about their gel liners, um, so I'm really excited to try those. Um, but as far as what I have, I like the lipsticks that come in this little circle thing. I like the square eyeshadows. I like the blush. Love that from Inglot. Um, so that is it for this part of the series. Um, the next one will be J through Q. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you like this idea. And I would love to see some of you guys do this. Because I think this is a pretty stinking cute idea. And um, Lori Beth, great job for coming up with this. Because it's extremely creative. I think I've only seen maybe one other person do it. I think maybe Emily Noel um, has done it on here, but I'm not quite for sure. I think it's a great idea. So I was ready to jump on the bandwagon with it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.